It's true. I come from the other side of the world, uh, from the United States, and it's almost impossible to get further away from Réunion than it is from my home. Um, I first learned about FERSI in 1990 when I was doing my dissertation research in Paris. There was a uh, memoir that was written on his behalf when he won his case before the Cour Royale de Paris in 1844. Um, I therefore knew that he was né libre, according to the law, and so I decided to uh, put it aside, and it wasn't until 2007 that I rediscovered Fursi in a Wikipedia article of all places. Uh, the Wikipedia article told me two things. First, that there was a large dossier of papers that the Archive Départementale de la Réunion had just recently uh, uh, received. And I also learned that uh, the public, if they knew of Fursi at all, believed that he had died in slavery, and I knew this was wrong. As a result, I contacted uh, Eveline and Yvonne Combo here in Réunion, and they were very kind to invite me to uh, come here in 2008. Uh, I have since returned four times and doing research in the archi archive here. Uh, I also have gone to Aix-en-Provence, Mauritius, London, and Paris, where I've completed more archival research. Uh, First of all, there are the contradictions between the way that Fursi saw himself and other people in his life, the lawyers, uh, his family, and even the public today understand uh, the importance of Fursi's life. Um, some of these contradictions were deliberate. We have people like uh, Joseph Lory, uh, Débat saint richemont who deliberately manipulated the papers in the archives in order to keep Fursi in slavery. Uh, some of the confusion or the contradictions, however, it is due to the way that we think today. Orlando Patterson, the American sociologist, has said that slavery uh, is constituted in social death. Fursi's struggle for freedom during his life was the attempt to find uh, pr the privileges, to enjoy the privileges that French men at the time enjoyed. Uh, this includes um, the ability to manage his own time, the, to enjoy the fruits of his labors, to marry the woman that he wants, and to found a family. Um, unfortunately, the truth about Percy, uh, he was not an abolitionist. And uh, this is why I decided to make Madeline and Constance, his mother and his sister, two of the protagonists in my book. These two women, like many women in history, were hidden uh, from the present. And in Percy's case, these are the reason why he was able to succeed in gaining his freedom through his mother and through the efforts of his sister. Of course, nobody owns Fursi today. Certainly not the Routiers and the Lorry. Uh, Fursi was successful in establishing his freedom and that of his descendants. Not the archives or the museum. Their job is to preserve the records of his history and to make it accessible to researchers uh, in a, who will use it in a responsible manner. Um, not the historians. We each have our own interpretations, and we will make new discoveries. Certainly, there are more things to discover about Fursi. Um, and not the um, artists or the politicians who portray Fursi as a simple hero. Uh, Fursi was a, a full human with all the complexity and imperfections uh, therein. Uh, Fursi, despite his imperfections, uh, achieved a measure of dignity. Uh, in his struggle for freedom. And we can be inspired by how long and how hard he worked. Uh, we should all look for finding freedom in understanding one another better and in forming community amongst ourselves.